you should already have your book cover now. You've got the first 10mm line which is going to be the waistline. Then you've got the four 7mm lines equally spaced apart. This is going to be the spine of the book. And then across on the right hand side is the other 10mm line which is going to denote the waist on the other side of the cover. And these four lines in the centre, all equally spaced, are the ones we're going to fold. Now take your ruler. It's important you use a very thin ruler for this particular operation. It gives you a nice clean fold. Place your ruler on one of the innermost lines and then lift up the edge of the book cover, pulling it across the ruler. Now I'm going to use my thumbnail to push it against the edge of the ruler to give a nice sharp fold. Remove the ruler and fold the page right the way across and using a clean finger push down on the crease to make it nice and sharp. Open it up and put the ruler on the outer line. Do the same again, lift up the page using a clean thumbnail, push against the ruler, fold the page back over and push down to give yourself a nice crisp fold line. Turn the page around through 180 degrees and do exactly the same again on the other side. Now you can see four nice, neat, tidy folds, and they're a lot more obvious on the back now. And pick your piece of work up. Just make sure those folds are nice and clean. Now we're going to apply some PVA glue to the area that's going to stick on the spine. But don't put too much PVA glue on. And once it's on, just carefully spread it out. And you can use a piece of timber, or in my case one of God's glue sticks. And you've got to be quite careful not to get the glue over the edge of the lines. At this stage you're going to need your notebook insides and also the clamp too. And this is the clamp we used before now. Make sure you put your notebook insides into the cover the correct way around. Push it in nice and carefully, applying some pressure on the outside to make sure that the spine of the cover matches with the spine of the notebook. Place your notebook in the clamps and this time you note that the small black screws are uppermost. Tighten the wing nuts up on both ends. And apply some pressure along the spine of the book to make sure there's a good contact between the PVA glue, the spine of the notebook and the cover. And you can see from this close-up, really good contact between the notebook and the cover itself. Once you're happy with that, you can leave it to dry.